Hello students, this is Zifa from Bank Exams today. Today I am going to tell you about essay writing and how you should write an ideal essay. Uh, where I will be telling you, I will be sharing some steps uh, for the essay writing and some tips that will help you write a better essay that uh, you were writing and bet how to write a better essay and then uh, what format actually should one follow to write an essay, okay. So students, let's uh, start with the introduction. First of all, uh, every essay should focus on whatever the paragraphs that are there in the essay should focus on the key fact that is the topic of the essay. Whatever the topic uh, is, is uh, that you have to write essay on should have focus on the key fact okay and uh, there is uh, students no rigid format for writing an essay but uh, like because we have uh, we have been given different topics and number of topics are there on which we have to write essay so there is not no rigid format to write an essay like uh, first should be there then this then this but uh, students uh, this uh, essay writing is uh, like it has a basic structure that is generally followed and we will see that structure as well as the, in this video and uh, because uh, students essay writing is not confined within the boundaries so because um, it is a huge topic right it is a uh, very it is not narrow right so here is the format uh, like a uh, basic structure where we can uh, like how we can write an essay first we have to write down the introduction of the essay where we will introduce the topic and uh, like we will nicely introduce the topic and uh, we will give the attention hook to it uh, so that readers are attracted to that and and so that they read your essay interestingly uh, so then uh, whatever the paragraphs that you have to uh, form be it one two or three whatever the paragraphs you want to make whatever the length uh, according to your essay so you have to write uh, that and then uh, you have to write the lastly you have to write down the conclusion okay so introduction the body part whatever the main idea of the essay is and then the conclusion also students here one thing is written which is the thesis statement so what is thesis statement it is the basic uh, statement where uh, it presents the topic right and also it keep the uh, like uh, the essay argument focused uh, that means uh, like whatever the topic is we have to focus on that in whatever the thesis statement we are making okay then we have to write down the main idea of the essay and then lastly conclusion where will we can we will conclude or summarize our ideas and and uh, also in this conclusion we have to uh, we also have to write the action or the uh, steps whatever should the uh, concerned authority or the government should take to address the problem okay now here is uh, the basic structure of an essay where uh, here one by one I will tell what exactly should in, uh, include in the introduction paragraph, uh, the first body paragraph, second body paragraph and the concluding paragraph. So students whatever how many uh, the paragraphs that you want to add you can do but make sure the word limit uh, is uh, like you should uh, like abide to the word limit that is given to you okay so uh, here is a first introduction paragraph you have to it is very important you grab the attention here it, uh, this introduction paragraph is very uh, like important uh, how you start your essay okay if uh, your introduction will be boring and it will not be catchy so you will you might lose marks okay so introductory paragraph should be attention grabbing and uh, the thesis statement you uh, mention whatever the statement that you want to make uh, you need to mention all your thesis statement in the introduction paragraph and it should be a uh, fact based okay so uh, according to your topic whatever the topic is given to you and then a uh, uh, preview of three subtopics three or two subtopics according to how many paragraphs that you want to 
right okay so in then in uh, first body paragraph what you will state your you will state your first subtopic uh, whatever that you are going to talk about your subtopic so you will have to write that here and then uh, you have to write supporting details about that that will support your statement okay first you make your statement and then you write the details about supporting your statement and uh, if possible you can also write an example to prove that okay so and then uh, second body paragraph again uh, second sub topic you will be writing here with some uh, supporting details and examples if possible okay now in the last concluding paragraph what you will do you will restate uh, your thesis obviously you will not use the same words that you have uh, used there in introduction but you will restate with the different words with the different language who uh, like meaning can be same but obviously you will write down the conclusion or uh, transition over here and then also sub uh, main topics and sub topics whatever the uh, like your opinion was there so you'll have to write that and then lastly call to action or global statement okay uh, where you will write down what uh, what steps can be taken or what should be done okay so uh, this will this will help uh, the like better closure of the essay okay uh, but still, uh, one thing you have to uh, like keep this in mind while writing down the essay you'll have to uh, like whatever the opinion uh, you'll you should just form one opinion form an opinion and only on the basis of that you write an essay to score good okay so your body paragraphs will be on the basis of whatever the opinion is there and uh, to support that opinion write some details along with that okay so then next is here i have uh, made a format for the essay writing where uh, first you have to like it is just the short thing to make you help uh, to help you understand better okay so firstly you will write an introduction where uh, what you can do uh, introduce the topic as i've told you uh, like uh, in this video and then support your opinion whatever if for example your topic is uh, for or against something right you will write down what your opinion is uh, what do you think and what in uh, you are in favor of uh, what uh, thing okay you are for or against okay and uh, if it is not like that just uh, whatever the, the topic is uh, give your opinion support it and you can also uh, give the other side of the argument to help uh, to give the clearer picture of the topic and then in the last uh, step what you can do is you can summarize your opinion and uh, importantly most importantly you'll have to write what should be done what is your call on that what the government has uh, what can the government can do so here you can also give some measures to combat the problem or to look after the uh, the issue okay so now uh, here also i have given some tips like how to how you can write an effective essay so uh, first of all uh, students it will be not good it will not good on your part if you don't plan and just start writing the essay so first 5 minutes of your essay should be used for utilized for planning that 5 minutes will be your investment for the essay only because otherwise you will keep wasting your time for the essay if you will not plan for the essay okay first of all plan and uh, write down some uh, brief briefly write down some tips or whatever the points that you want to include in your essay and then execute the writing so how you can plan about the essay is uh, whatever the topic is given brainstorm that topic what now what does this mean like whatever the possible things that can happen uh, like whatever the pros are there cons if if uh, there uh, whatever the issues the reasons all of that uh, you can uh, what you can do you can think about that and then organize your thoughts and then plot a rough draft what me uh, what does this mean like whatever the thoughts are there you just plot a draft like first you're going to mention about this then this then this like that and make sure that you keep your language simple and crisp okay do 
like don't give unnecessary details about anything it should be crisp enough okay and then uh, language should be simple if you will unnecessary write down the vague words that uh, even uh, like what does that do it uh, breaks the conversation uh, when the reader is reading the essay okay so it should be simple so that reader connects to it okay and then a uh, most important tip is here you you have to form an opinion for writing an essay uh this can give you extra uh, points extra brown brownie points if like uh, otherwise without uh, forming an in opinion you will not get good marks okay also uh, while writing an essay you also have to keep this thing in mind that your punctuation and spellings are right your grammar and your vocabulary is up to the mark okay there is no need of using some difficult words if you if you know uh, what vocabulary is your vocabulary should be appropriate it should support whatever that you want to say the clear understanding of the uh, thing whatever you want to state or uh, that should be clear basically okay so be also be specific about the essay that you are uh, writing um like don't give unnecessary details to make your essay lengthy it will also make your essay lengthy and it should be to the point that will uh, and crisp okay also the essay's word limit should be uh, like you should keep in your mind whatever the essay uh, word limit you are writing into so ideal word limit is between 3 to 400 words for the rbi grade b uh, exam okay and uh, like if you will write short essay it will also be not in favor of you and then if you'll write more than this it will also be of no point okay so also lastly what you can do is you can revise your essay for uh, any technical error so that you can uh, correct it and uh, avoid losing marks okay now here is the criteria for evaluation you should know how your essay is evaluated basically uh like i have missed one point here which is uh, like uh, one is uh, task completion and then grammar and vocabulary and then format and uh, here also uh, one thing is the flow of ideas here so uh like for the evaluation for the evaluation first is uh like task completion now task completion doesn't mean that you have to complete writing your essay but uh, basically what does this mean that uh, whatever that you have thought of about the topic should be completed like the essay should cover all the aspects related to the topic okay whatever that are necessary so uh, basically all of these four uh, stands for 25% of the marking so uh, these are equally important okay so uh, task completion is done now next is flow of ideas now flow of ideas is uh, like when you start writing the essay uh, it should uh, you know uh, should be in the flow and not break up the conversation and uh, like whatever that uh, the statement you made and then uh, uh, followed by the opinion that you have formed and then uh, supporting reasons to it like there should be flow of ideas and should not be uh, something that breaks up the conversation or link to the essay okay and then next is of uh, grammar and vocabulary obviously is very important because a uh, wrong uh, usage of uh, vocabulary or grammar uh, if your tenses are not right or grammar mistakes are there you might lose the marks uh, your marks on that so keep in, uh, keep in mind that you are using the right grammar and vocabulary and then format format is, i already told you that format is uh, the thing the basic structure format that you follow is write down the introduction first and then body paragraphs uh in which you will have to write opinion based essay and then uh, lastly your conclusion in which you'll summarize all of the essay and whatever the idea or what has to be necess necessarily to be done or the call of action thing okay 
so uh, whatever the format is uh, write down the intro and then the paras body paragraphs and then the conclusion so in conclusion you'll have to write down the action as well this is very important okay so uh, here is basically uh, this the sample article that i've written and uh, this is uh, this art uh, essay is on the topic is e-commerce destroying the big and motar retail stores so students uh, uh, will see what i have done in this i have made four paragraphs here uh, and like two here and two uh, in the next uh, this slide and then uh, like first uh, in this first paragraph what i've done i've written the introduction okay so in introduction what i have done i have introduced the topic and i have not given any of my opinion i have not uh, like i am being neutral here i have uh, the opinions are to be uh, given in the next uh, body paragraphs okay so introduction in what you will do you will write down what uh, about according to my topic i have written about all the technology that shopping uh, people love shopping and then uh, this uh, retail shops are there uh, large sales are with there this uh, shopping online is gaining popularity everything like that okay and then in next paragraph i have uh, addressed what is happening in the economy or what is happening with the e-commerce portals that like they purchase goods in bulk and they have large herbs and like that things like that and then uh, the customers are attracting so i have addressed the issue here okay so and then then in the next uh, body paragraph i have uh, written about the retail stores and the government what governments take on this is and uh, then lastly what i have done is i have written the conclusion for that or and summarized my uh, parag uh, this essay uh, where i have written that despite of uh, this uh, online stores are capturing the market online uh, this e-commerce portals are capturing the market and making huge sales uh, they are not doing good like things like that and then uh, i have also given the necessary call to action uh, line or the thing like government can do government should make proper policies for the online merchants so that level playing field for all the players is there in the market things like that so this uh, this call to action thing has to be there in the paragraph in the conclusion thing okay so this was the sample art article where you can have an idea like how to write the article and uh, I, I tried to uh, give the uh, supporting details for whatever the uh, idea I was uh, that was there in my mind and then uh, you can also see the flow of ideas here first introduction I have introduced the topic and then slowly I have mentioned about the online platforms and uh, how they are uh, like being cost effective and uh, because they have large hubs and all so uh, also and then in next paragraph how i address that uh, the retailers are suffering because this, due to this and uh, then lastly i have summarized it and said that policy should be made for these online merchants so that uh, they have the profits uh, well and as well as the retailers uh, sh so that retailers also can do better and then uh, students uh, this is uh, this bank exams today we are also providing uh, this descriptive paper evaluation cervix now and where uh, we will be evaluating 15 essays of yours and 15 reading comprehension engines and 15 presses writing press writings and uh, video lectures are also there and these uh, these 15 essays reading comprehensions and press writing will be evaluated by the team of experts and uh, with the reports reports will also be there so students enroll for this and uh, so that you can perform better now how to enroll uh, you can go to learn.bankexamtoday.com or you can install bank exam today mobile application all the links are there in uh, available in the description box you can check that and uh, that's all for today uh, thank you very much for watching have a nice day